I'm Coley from the Children's Museum of New Hampshire and today I'm going to be showing you a magic science experiment. So I have some bowls with water in them and you can try this experiment at home. You're going to need some water and some bowls that you can use. Each time you try this experiment you need to empty the bowl out and refill it. So you may want to maybe do it with a small bowl um, and that way it's a little easier to reset it for the next time. So you need some bowls. You need some pepper if you'd like to use it. I'm going to try this with another spice. I'm going to try all spice and I'm going to try it with glitter and we're going to see which one works the best. Um, so with your bowls of water you want to pour whatever you're using right inside there. So I already did the pepper. Now I'm going to do the glitter over here. And I'm going to do another glitter over here. And just so we can see it a little better, I'm going to do the allspice in this bowl that's white. So you can see it a little easier because this has really small particles. So already, um, our scientists at home might be noticing that when we poured these different things into the water, they didn't sink to the bottom, they stayed on top. So that's a really good observation. And whatever you use to do this experiment, you want to find something that's going to stay on top of the water. That's one of the keys to the experiment. So next, we're going to take a Q-tip and we're going to poke it into our bowls um, with some different things on the end of it and see what happens. So before I do that, I, I want you to think in your head, what do you think might happen when I put some soap or some toothpaste or some oil into the bowls? What do you think is going to happen to the glitter and the spices that we put in here? So I'm going to try it first with some soap. So this is soap and we'll do the pepper bowl first. So I've got the soap on the end of the Q-tip and we're going to put it down and a lot of times when we do these kinds of experiments at the museum, um, kids get really excited and they want to stir things up and do a little water play. For this experiment, it's really helpful to just place your Q-tip or whatever you're using right into the middle of the bowl. You don't really want to stir to be able to see this experiment. You just want to kind of poke it right in. So I'm going to try it here. Whoa, did everybody see that? All of the pepper moved away from the center of the bowl. It all moved to the sides um, and spread away when I put the soap in there. So now I'm going to try the same thing um, like I said, once you do it once, you need to reset and do it again. Um, but I'm going to try the same thing with the glitter and I'm going to use, instead of soap, I'm going to use some cooking oil. And just so we can compare and see what happens with the glitter. So I'm going to put this right in the middle of the glitter and see. And we can see the same thing did not happen. Let's try the other end. And let's try it with some soap. This is our soapy Q-tip. So we'll use that one again. Let's see if anything happens with the soap. Oh wow, the same thing happened that happened with the pepper. All of the glitter ran away from the soap to the edges of the bowl. It's still staying on the top for the most part, but it moved to the edges. So now I'm going to try it with some toothpaste and I've only done this once. So we'll see what happens with the toothpaste. We'll try it in the glitter and then in the spices with the toothpaste. So this is some toothpaste from the museum from Dental Health Month. So this is um, a kid's toothpaste, so it's blue. But you can try this with any toothpaste that you have at home. Let's put it in the middle of the glitter bowl first and see what happens. Oh, so we see our glitter is moving a little bit. It's not moving as much as the soap did. Still, it doesn't really like the toothpaste too much. Um, so now we'll try the toothpaste on the other spices in the front. It's allspice. I like doing this with allspice or cinnamon because it smells a little bit better than pepper and kids usually like the smell. So let's try it in this one and see if anything different happens. Oh. No, it didn't happen that time. Now I'm just curious, I want to try this with soap too and see if it works. Because I might have picked a spice that had particles that were a little too small. So we'll see if it works with the soap. Oh, 
it worked a little better with the soap. So not quite as well, but you can see that the spices did move away to the edges. So I'm going to go a little more into the science on this um, on our blog. Um, but what happened was when we put um, these different materials in here, um, our stuff on the surface of the water reacted a little differently. So I want you to think about what do soap and toothpaste have in common? What do we use these things for? So now that you had a second to think about it, um, we use soap and toothpaste to clean things. We use soap to wash our dishes. This was dish soap and we use toothpaste to clean our teeth. Um, so that's why they both had a similar effect. This experiment can be done with other cleaners too, but if we're doing it with kids, we want to use some things that are nice and safe for them to use. Um, and when we did it with oil, nothing happened. Um, so part of the reason this experiment works is that our glitter and our spices are what's called hydrophobic. So they don't mix together with the water, they stay on the top. They don't dissolve like sugar or salt might dissolve. Um, so when we put them on, into our bowls of water, they stay on top. Water particles, molecules like to stick together too. Um, so when we put soap in, we really are disrupting um, <laughs> those particles. And soap has parts of it that are hydrophobic and parts of it that are, that are hydrophilic. And that's what makes it good for cleaning. Um, so when we put them in, what happens is the water molecules are moving but we can see it because we have glitter and we have spices in here that show us where the water's going. So if we just did that same experiment and we didn't put the glitter in the bowl and we just had water um, and we didn't put the spices in the bowl, if we just did some soap and some water, you might not see anything happen. Um, but because we added something to the surface of the water, we could see that the soap broke the surface tension of the water and that's what pushed those particles over to the sides and the edges of the bowl. Um, so this is a fun experiment you can try at home. Uh, like I said, you do have to reset it every time, so it can take a little while. You might want to try some little trays, or you can even try it in a lid or something like that at home. Or if it's a nice day, you could do this activity outside, so then when each time you reset it, you can pour your water out as long as you have biodegradable ingredients inside. Um, so thank you. Hopefully you'll join us again to see another one of our magic science experiments. Bye!